What's up guys? So we have another request for some custom tactics. This time it's the 4231. I did um I did the 4231 with my current team, but I added a CDM here so it doesn't look as weird. So let's get right into it. Actually, let's first explain the type of players you want. So essentially what you want is the backline whatever, you know. Same as always. You want some strong CDMs that can cover ground. You want a the cam doesn't have to be that fast. It can be like a the central cam. It doesn't have to be like a quick player. It can be someone that can take shots, uh, good passing, that kind of thing. And then on the wing, you want fast players. So I have Salah and Martial. So for this one, you might want to start off with this formation and then switch in game to this one so that you have full cam. If you don't care too much about the full cam, then you can just start them off in this position and then up top. You either want a really tall striker that you can cross to like Harry Kane or a quick agile one, agile one like uh, Gabriel Jesus. So that's basically the makeup of the team, how you want to construct a 4-2-3-1 style team. And another important thing is you want players with their opposite weak foot on like so if you have a on the right side you want a player with that's left footed so you can finesse it opposite post and vice versa on the left you want a player who's right footed or if they're they have five star weak foot that works you can have them in either position so let's get into the custom tactics So to start off, I'm going to show you guys the balanced one. So you come in with um, a balanced defensive style. You want five bars on the width. So the, the formation is already kind of wide with the with the lamb and ram and then the fullbacks. And so you don't need too much width on this one defensively. You want the, this formation to be nice and closed so that the CDMs are in their spot. Um, the depth, I always say like if you're using this as a defensive formation you want them either at three three bars or four bars it'll it'll keep them in their in their position right outside your box and that give the opposition free space to take shots you want to play a possession uh, style this formation is really good for keeping the ball because there's so many midfielders and the players are so close together so it, this this uh, will allow you to move the ball a lot better Width-wise, you want six bars on the attack. The you want the the cam wingers on on like you want to keep them wide so that they you can counter attack your opposition or so you can switch the play. You also it also helps to create space when the defense is really closed up. The they'll pull the the right back and left back out and create space in the middle for you to play through. So players in the box, this formation is really good for crossing. So five to six bars is good. It'll have you'll have someone back post who you can cross to when you're running down the wing, and it's really it's a really good play to do with this type of formation. The the left mid or right mid will always be coming into the box. So if you're crossing, they'll they'll be up against the smaller fullback and be able to win the headers. And then for corners and free kicks, uh, same thing as the previous formations. You don't want too many people up there because you don't want to get countered on those type of things. So if you have some plays that you'd like to do, just keep a couple players in there and then execute the plays so you, and just have people back so you don't get countered. So now moving on to the attacking one. Uh, constant pressure is the best way to get the ball back quickly. With this formation, it's going to be very tough for someone to crack your defense with it if you have constant pressure. You're gonna have the CDM and then the fullback and then the the cam that's that's uh, nearest to the player pressuring them. It's gonna be very hard for them to move the ball. The width, uh, five bars of width on defense, not too wide. Same as before. You want to keep your team nice and compact. Uh, the depth, though, you want to have it really high up. So this is. For when you're down or you want to recover the ball quickly if you're playing someone good that's moving the ball on you you'll pressure them higher up and you'll get recover the ball faster um fast build up this is uh you can use this in a in a possession type of style as well you don't you don't have to like send long passes um but the fast build up will help because your players are close together so you'll be able to string passes pretty quickly the width uh five bars of width 
you don't need too much width the formations already wide you're going to be doing quick passes so you want the players to be kind of close together so four to five is good your players won't be like you won't be switching the play as much you'll be doing quick passes so this this one will help and players in the box uh same as the previous one six bars uh basically the same idea you're gonna have the the left mid or right mid crashing into the box and beating out a smaller defender and corners and free kicks if you're losing you want four or five you want people in there to get some to, to have more bodies in there to be able to attack and now we move into the defensive one so with this one if you're playing a really good player and he's applying a lot of pressure to you and you just want to counter him and try to get a lucky goal or something like that you put on you put the the tactics on defensive style on drop back and you put the width as very narrow and you'll put your defense inside your box with this formation you're going to have six defenders because of the two cdms they'll be parked right outside your box and you'll be able to press them with the cdms and your your entire defense will just intercept anything that they try to get through so with this one you want to do long long passes because you're going to be countering them so the second you get the ball your wingers and your striker are just going to take off and you can hit up hit them with a long pass down the wing and they're going to be caught off guard because the longer they keep the ball trying to crack through your defense the more players they have coming up so if they're holding the ball right outside your box trying to get through their fullbacks are going to come up so when their fullbacks come up and you recover the ball on their mistake you got to be patient with this one when you recover the ball back on their mistake, you can get a counter down the wing, and those are lethal. You'll have your your right mid and left mid coming up the wing, and then you'll, you can just switch it to the opposite opposite side and get an easy goal. So for the width, uh, pretty much the same. Um, I explained it in the previous ones. Players in the box, you don't want too many on this one. You want four or five because you're just going to be countering, so you don't need too many players going up when you actually have the ball. And the same thing as for corners and free kicks, uh, two bars. So those are the basic tactics. Now I'm going to move on to the instructions. I didn't make a, a defensive one, ultra defensive one, or an ultra attacking one, just because it won't be a 4-2-3-1 formation. Um, you've seen my previous video, the 4 one 2 one 2 wide which explains the ultra attacking formation that I use. So you can go check out that video and see it if you haven't. It helps a lot when you're down a couple goals and you can come back very quickly if executed properly. So let's get into the instructions. The instructions will be the same for all three of the game plans for balanced, attacking, and defensive. So let's start off with the defense. With the fullbacks, what you want to do is put them stay back while attacking. You'll be able to switch in-game to have fullbacks come up if you need it, but with this formation you won't. So for the CDMs on both of them, you want to stay put stay back while attacking. If you have one CDM that's a little bit uh, better of a creator, so let's say you put Modric at CDM, you can have him on balance and then put the more defensive CDM on stay back while attacking. That'll keep a balance within your team so that you're not completely parked back. But if you want to just defend, you can put uh, stay back while attacking on both. So for the center cam, you want to put stay forward and free roam. This will allow the, the cam to not draw back so much when you're defending and you'll have space, you'll, he'll have the space to move around due to the, the wingers being, due to your right mid and left mid being wide. So you'll have more space with him to create and the same thing for the left attacking mid and right attacking mid, you want to put them on free roam. You could try them on stay forward, but if you're struggling to get the ball up and play through, they might be too high up. So I would recommend um, the basic one so that they're not just staying with their fullbacks. If you're struggling creating space and your defense, if you're struggling creating space and your attackers aren't helping you too much, like the wingers, you can put your center striker to drift wide and it'll make their center backs move to the sides and create space through the middle where your cam can take a shot or your left mid right mid can get through so those are just some of the ideas of what you can do this uh this formation is really good for possession and really good for countering when you're playing defensively so yeah 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you. I hope this is helpful for you. If you have another formation or another type of um, another type of tactic you want me to make, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to get, leave a like, subscribe, and share the video. Catch you guys on the next one.